Hey, this is Guy from New Plastic, and this is how you can get the most realistic and procedural metallic textures in Octane. I've also created a pack of these physically accurate textures you can purchase for the price of a cup of coffee on my Gumroad, so feel free to go there and get them. It'll help you and your projects, and it'll help me a lot. Follow me on IG at Ojang, subscribe, comment, share, all that. I listen to every one of you, and I appreciate your support. Let's go. So before we start, let me just show you some of the materials I got in the pack. We got gold, we got copper, rose gold, we got silver, iron, platinum, patina bronze, worn out bronze, yellow brass, and red brass, as well as a few others. And by adjusting the color corrections on the imperfections, you can easily manipulate the roughness and the bump, and also change the spread of the patina and the worn out edges. And what you're going to download is a project file with this little model of raw metal and all the materials down there for you to use. And in the pack, I'll have a video that explains how to use it more in detail than how to save your materials so you can use them anytime. Okay, so to make these materials yourself, you'll start with the universal material, set the BRDF mode to Beckman, make sure the metallic node is turned all the way up, and all the magic is going to happen in the IOR tab. So to put it very simply, in real life, the way different metallic materials get their own distinct colors and reflections is because each color frequency deflects off the surface in a different direction. That means each metal has a different combination of color frequencies that reflect into your eyes at a certain angle. And that's how we perceive the color of the metal. Some more red, some more blue, some neutral. To achieve that, we're going to set the metallic reflection node to RGB IOR, and that will allow us to input a different index of reflection to the three different color channels red green and blue to get that real ior for each metal we want we need to go to this website refractiveindex.info select the 3d option in the shelf list select the metals options from the book list and then select the metal that we want this list only has a raw metals and not metal alloys since alloys have different combinations of metals and they're a bit tricky to get but with this knowledge some extra research on what metals different alloys have and some creative decisions you'll be able to adjust ior to your need so once we selected the metals that we want, we need to input the frequency of color in the wavelength so we can get the right refractive index or the N and the extinction coefficient or the K for that frequency. That's pretty simple. Red frequency has 615 nanometers length, green has 550 nanometers and blue has 450 nanometers. This website measures the wavelength in micrometers. So we'll just need to divide our numbers by a thousand. So once we input 0.65 in the wavelength, we get the right numbers we need. We'll copy the end number and we'll paste it into the first part of the red IOR channel. Then we'll copy the K number and paste it into the second part of the red IOR channel. Then we'll input 0.55 into the wavelength, which is the green color frequency, and copy and paste the new numbers in, and then do the same with 0.45 wavelength, which is the blue color frequency. And that is it. That's the most physically accurate metal you can get with Octane right now. And you can play with these numbers and see how it affects the colors of the metal in a physically accurate way. Now look, this is still CG and this is all simulation, so nothing is 100% accurate. And even though these are technically physically accurate, they might not look as quote unquote realistic as you would like. So take all these numbers with a grain of salt and feel free to play with the settings accordingly. In my material pack, I played around with some of the materials just so the metals will look more like they do in photos that we're used to because sometimes the translation wasn't perfect. However, I still think this is a more superior way because it gets more realistic, subtle, to the reflections than other methods like using thin film or changing the specular color and all those. So once we did that, we'll add some procedural imperfections, we'll add an octane noise to the bump node and set the UV projection to our needs and play around with the noise. I want a very detailed noise so I'll up the omega and octaves and then I'll play with the gamma and contrast until I'm pleased. I'll add a gradient so I can adjust the amount of the bump more accurately and play around until I get the look that I want. I want a subtle and small bump that will just roughen up the smooth surfaces just a little bit. Then I'll add another noise to the roughness node and do the same thing to just get some variety in the roughness. I'll just remove the bump so we can see better what we're doing. And I want to move around the noise of the roughness so that it won't be in the exact same location as the bump noise. Now, if you want to get that look of tarnished crevices, we'll use the dirt node on the metallic node, which will tell the material to remove the metallicness from the crevices and expose the albedo channel, which is white right now. So let's add another noise and up the gamma to make it darker and plug it into the albedo channel. Then we can add a gradient node to give it a slightly darker brownish color. And we can play around with the dirt node until we get the look that we want or invert the normals to get tarnished edges instead of crevices. 
And of course, we can do the same thing with every other metal. We'll just go back, select another metal from the list, enter each of the three color frequencies again, and copy paste the new N and K numbers accordingly. And we'll just make the roughness channel more even and darker. And that's it. This is a great and safe way to get highly realistic metal materials. I saw it on the Epic J Creations channel, so shout out to them. I use it on every metal material and now you can do it too. Or you can just go to my gum road and, and buy the material pack that will help me a lot and it'll help you as well. So follow me on Instagram at ojang, subscribe, comment, share, all that. I appreciate every one of you and I hope you have a good day. Peace.